What's up guys, Rob from Legend Banners Game here bringing you another Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl character guide. And in this guide we're going to be talking about Lucy Loud and this is going to be a mini guide. And so what do I mean by mini guide? Uh, basically I just mean that this guide is going to be less formal than the other ones, less editing, less jumps. Uh, kind of just me sitting down talking about the character and the things that she can do. And the reason I'm doing a mini guide for Lucy as opposed to a full-fledged guide uh, like I did with the other characters is that I have less experience with Lucy and I didn't want to sit down and just try to talk about a character that I don't know as well for 90 minutes because that's not going to be helpful to you guys it's going to be disingenuous it's not going to lead you down a path of success if I'm just sitting here talking out my butt about a character that I don't know as well uh, but that's not to say that I don't know this character well. Uh, I did main her when the game first came out. I was a Lucy main for a while. Uh, I ended up dropping her out of my rotation for a little bit uh, because I didn't like the way that she used to play. She used to be basically only a double dare character. Uh, the optimal play way to play Lucy used to just be uh, wave slime into double dare and it was kind of lame and I didn't really enjoy it that much. But now she's got some cool coffin setups and some other cool stuff and I think she's a lot of fun now. So. Uh, she is in my character rotation. She's just a pocket character, though, uh, so I don't have as much time with her as my other characters, hence why we're doing a mini guide. So, without further ado, uh, let's just get into it. Uh, we're going to go over her general playstyle first. So, she is a very fast character, uh, but she's also pretty light. So, uh, you're going to be able to get in on your opponents pretty quickly with her, but you're also going to die pretty early to some stuff. So,. Uh, definitely just want to kind of keep that in mind here uh, as you're going through with Lucy that uh, There are gonna be times when you're gonna be dying pretty early to some stuff. So uh, She also has a couple of different stances. She is a stance character and what I mean by that is uh, her uh, Neutral special her bite actually changes the stance that she's in and her stance will change some of the stats about her uh, so Right now, as you can see, I'm just normal, regular old Lucy, just hanging out uh, with my friend Lucy Loud. Uh, not doing much here. Uh, but if I press neutral special and you land a hit on either your opponent or a projectile, you see how now I am. I have uh, this red aura about me, kind of look like almost like a pig pen from Charlie Brown, kind of dirty. <laughs> uh, this is vampire mode. Uh, and if I bite my opponent again, now I have this white aura about me. This is ghost mode. Uh, and from now on, whenever I bite my opponent, uh, it's just going to cycle between vampire and ghost, as you can see. Uh, and the way to get back to regular stance is while you're in a stance, if you want to go back to normal mode, uh, you just hold B. And now I'm back in normal stance. So I uh, just want to go over some of the differences in the stances here. So normal... Uh, the stances also change moves. They change specific moves, which we'll get into when we talk about those moves. But generally, normal mode, you know, just normal old Lucy. Vampire mode actually has decreased uh, jump height. So actually, I'll show you. Normal Lucy jump height. Vampire has decreased jump height. And ghost has increased jump height. You see, you can go absolutely zoom in <laughs> with ghost mode. Uh, kind of crazy. Now, there's also a difference between uh, the damages on these modes as well. Uh, so, we'll just go back into normal mode for this demonstration. So, regular, jab does 8%. Vampire mode actually has increased damage. So, jab's going to do 10%. And ghost has decreased damage, but increased knockback. So, Vampire is good for racking up damage. Ghost is good for knockback. Ghost has higher jumps, Vampire has lower jumps, and normal mode, of course, is just normal. So, uh, Ghost and Vampire, your, your stats uh, change as well. Uh, you're actually lighter in Ghost mode, so you're gonna be dying very early. I believe you're also lighter in Vampire mode uh, than you are in normal mode, so do keep that uh, in mind uh, so you will be dying earlier in your stances than normally but 
those are just a brief overview of the different stances. We're going to be getting into the specifics of those stances uh, as far as like what moves are changed and stuff as we talk about the moves. So uh, to start, Lucy's jab is uh, pretty good. It has a pretty good hitbox, uh, as you can see. It covers a lot. It also covers behind her a little bit. Um, pretty disjointed as well. And I find that this jab is really good for setting up into things like jab reset a lot. Um, like that, you know, you can use it off a dash attack and set up into a jab reset and stuff like that. Uh, pretty fast move, pretty uh, good hitbox on it. So yeah, her tilt, uh, her jab is, is pretty good. Uh, up tilt is a kick upwards. And this move is pretty good for setting up into uh, juggles. So if you land a kick on your opponent, uh, you can usually land at least uh, like two or three depending on their weights uh, before you go into up air juggles with Lucy. So overall her kick, her up tilt is pretty good for setting your opponent up for juggle situations up in the air. Uh, her down tilt is one of her most infamous moves and you've probably seen your opponents spamming this move at you. Uh, if you've played a Lucy, it's pretty fast, pretty well disjointed, and uh, the, the, the use for it that you've probably seen a ton, it hits off ledge. This is a really, really good edge guarding tool, a really, really good ledge trap because uh, you don't go off the edge when you use it, and the hitbox covers a lot of the ledge. If you can catch up recovery with it, uh, you can really invalidate a lot of uh recoveries with this move especially because the angle it sends you at is pretty brutal as well this is a really good add a shield option for lucy because it's relatively fast and it comes out pretty quickly if uh, lucy wants to there you go do that instead of a shield grab um it's fast it covers a lot and it kind of sends you forward a little bit too uh as you can see, you kind of jut forward a little bit. So you can catch people off guard a little bit with the spacing. So this might be her best grounded move. Uh, some people would say the bite is, but we'll get into that in a sec. Um, but yeah, down tilt, very good move all around for Lucy. Sets up into a lot of things, which we'll get into later. Um, so definitely want to keep this one in mind. Uh, her light dash is also really, really good. Uh, it has a pretty good hitbox. I'll show you here. Hitbox lasts a decent amount of time, covers pretty much her entire body, except for her head, oddly enough. Um, and this uh, sets up into a lot of different things, which we'll just talk about later. Um, the one thing you do want to keep in mind, this move is super duper punishable on shield. Uh, like, your opponent goes nowhere if they shield this move. And this is yellow, uh, this is gray shielding, and you notice how little... Uh, the CPU is getting knocked back, so. Am I floating? <coughs> so if you get this move shielded, you are going to be eating a punish. So don't want to just throw this out if you think your opponent's going to shield it, because you will eat a lot of damage off of a punish on this move because it is super duper negative on block. Um, but overall, it's a pretty good dash attack. It sets up into a lot of different things. Whoa! It be used as a ledge trap to a certain extent because you can just go over here and the hitbox is going to linger, uh, you know, to catch recoveries. Although most of the time you're going to want to detail the recoveries instead of uh, light dashing. But overall, it's a pretty good move. I would say your light dash is pretty good. Just be aware that if you get it shielded, uh, yeah, you're going to be in for some trouble. Uh, so we'll talk about her strongs on the ground now. Her neutral strong is her umbrella. It's decently disjointed away from her body. Uh, it's not the most ranged thing out there. Uh, it's it, it's a little stubby. And generally speaking, yeah. it's also not the strongest move out there. Yeah. Um, you know, in ghost mode, you, can, you might be able to get some kills off the side with it. Um, yeah. You can see it has a little, bit of a, a little bit of weight to it in ghost mode, but... Overall, it's it's okay. Uh, I find it's not really the most useful grounded option 
when you compare it to uh, her light attacks. But, you know, if you do get a teeter at the edge, you know, if your opponent's trying to shield at ledge, you get a teeter. If they're at high enough percent, you might be able to get a kill with it, but yeah. yeah. Uh, down smash, this one, or down strong. I actually think this is her best strong on the ground. Uh, that might be kind of controversial, but the reason I think it's her best is because it actually has a little bit of range to it uh, compared to some of her other moves. It's relatively fast, uh, and you can see the hitbox covers her entire hurtbox. However, notice that when the hitbox goes away, even if you're in the coffin, so it looks like, you know, visually that you're protected, uh, you're vulnerable here. So you can get hit out of this state. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, even when the move is starting up, even when you're covered, uh, you can still be hit out of this and you can still be RPS out of this. So just keep that in mind uh, overall that it looks like it's safer than it is um but out of her three strongs on the ground i find that this one is the one i get the most use out of it's it's a decent get off me kind of tool um you know it's not the best thing in the world but if your opponent's kind of laying on a little bit of the pressure um it could it has its niche uses i think uh and then her up strong is pretty good has pretty good range, pretty good hitboxes. Uh, it's decently fast as well. Um, can be used as a kind of a little <laughs> anti-air. Um, the aerial version of this is going to be much better. I don't really use this grounded version all that often. It's not going to kill really. It's It doesn't have the power to kill. Like Even if I set Lucy to like... 100 it's probably not gonna kill from a grounded state That's gotta hurt. so and lucy's pretty light keep that in mind uh, and that was with no di uh, so if your opponent's diing it um you know you know they're gonna be living for even longer so it's not the most useful thing i will say i don't really tend to use it a ton um so yeah, I guess just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, it's not, 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 not the best. Her strong dash is uh, pretty okay. <laughs> um, you can set into like a strong dash if they di it wrong. You can do like uh, strong dash into neutral strong, which can be a kill confirm at higher percents. Um, you know, do keep in mind that if you spam your neutral strong right after you hit strong dash uh, you're gonna miss you're gonna want to wait a second for them to come back down for you to hit the neutral strong after the fact uh, and if I turn the hitboxes off you can see that uh, or I'll show you that the hitbox looks like on this thing um, whoops that's a neutral strong hold on <laughs> come on Lucy get into your dash you kind of do teleport forward a little bit. And right, I'll turn the hitbox off so you can see the uh, animation of it. Again, like her light dash, very punishable on shield. Um, so I, I think most of the time, if you're going for this move, you're trying to just get the neutral strong kill confirm. I don't find a ton of use of this move outside of, uh, outside of that to be quite honest um most of the time you're better off going for a light dash because you're going to set up into some other stuff that neutral that strong dash just doesn't um so yeah it's not the worst move in the game but kind of a niche uh kind of like uh garfield strong dash it has its uses as a kill confirm but it's a little bit niche i would say um so you might be saying to yourself well it sounds like a lot of her moves really aren't great so far you kind of said a lot of them aren't the best so like what is she bringing to the game and I think that's where her aerial moves really start to uh, really start to excel. So her light nair is uh, just a playing card again. We'll, uh, we'll show you her light nair again. Playing card, pretty good, decent move. Uh, it actually has some a bit of kill power to it. Uh, same with her jab on the ground. That actually can kind of kill. Uh, if you hit it properly. It's useful as like an anti-air. If you notice your opponents are covering high. Uh, you can throw out this move. Uh, 
Unlike some of the other moves in the game, though, like her jab does have a little bit of knockback to it. And her uh, her light and air also has a bit of knockback. So, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty decent. Nothing crazy. Um, but most of the time, you can catch recoveries with it if you get good with it. Uh, so, decent move. Uh, her light up air is really good for juggling. Uh, so, if we turn... You know, you could do up, up tilt, up tilt, up tilt, up air, up air, up air. You know, you see how her light up air can juggle opponents pretty easily, actually. Um, it's pretty well, <laughs> uh, like, covers a lot above her head. Um, so, yeah, light up air, really, really good juggling tool. And in her ghost mode with uh, the increased knockback, and at higher percents, you can actually even kill with this move, so. Decently fast and a pretty good juggle as well. So definitely want to keep this one in mind. Uh, you know, you do the uh, up air, fast falling up airs. You can set up for juggles. You know, you do up air and then you fast fall. I'll slow it down a little bit. To reset your jump. You can get a lot of juggles, especially in stage with platforms. Uh, this move is going to be coming in very, very handy. Me. And the moment everyone that's played this game has been waiting for her light down air, which I believe is called Axe Kick. And it's pretty accurate when you consider that this thing completely puts people in the dirt. As you can see, the hitboxes on it cover a really wide range of uh, area in front of her. And the reason that this move is so good is because this is where her infamous double dare came from. Um, this move spikes pretty hard. Uh, I'll show you some clips here of, of, like, the double dare situation, but, yeah, this move can be pretty, uh, let's see if we can't get the computer to cooperate with us here. So you can see, like, you know, I didn't kill, obviously I died off the bottom, but um, it has some pretty good knockback. And you can still double dare. It's not as consistent as it used to be because of the end lag. Um, but if you do go for a double dare, you're going to want to dare and then dare, uh, dare, jump, and then go for the second dare. So you'd go dare, jump, dare, and then spam your other jump and then go for the up B after that. Um, this move is an excellent edge guard. It spikes people really hard. It can really invalidate a lot of players' recoveries. Uh, it's decent at getting out of disadvantage too. You know, if your opponent is kind of being a little bit of a nuisance, uh, you can usually get this move off uh, as a way to get out of disadvantage, which we'll talk about later. Uh, but you can see it's it's disjointed, so her hurt boxes are entirely covered by hit boxes while the hit boxes are active. Um, yeah, overall, really, really, really good move for <laughs> for Lucy here in her light dare. Uh, pretty infamous move in the Nick Brawl community for uh, a good reason. Uh, so what about her air strongs and? Her air neutral strong is actually one of the first moves we're going to talk about that changes depending on her stance. So we're going to bump her damage up a little bit just so I can kind of show you. Uh, the hitbox on it is nothing you haven't seen before. It's pretty much the same as her neutral strong on the ground. Uh, it's pretty good uh, as a fast fall option. I like her fast fall snare as a uh, kill move. You know, if your opponent's at higher percent and you're kind of struggling to uh, get that kill, you can go for a fast fall snare because it will cover a decent amount of the stage. Uh, and as you can see, it does hit pretty hard. Uh, so I think fast fall snare is a pretty good option for Lucy as a kill confirm. Or not a kill confirm, just as a kill option because she does lack a little bit of raw kill power. Um, that is one of her weaknesses when you're in normal mode, not in ghost mode, so. Uh, but if we go into vampire mode here, you see how Lucy gets spiked downward. Uh, that's the difference uh, between her 
ghost mode and va ghost mode and vampire mode i'm pretty sure uh both will spike actually i shouldn't say i'm pretty sure i know <laughs> uh ghost mode and vampire mode her neutral strong or her strong nair her snare uh spikes downward uh so it can have a little bit of like niche uses like if your opponents are covering high you know you can go for a uh, snare and send them as a uh, spike although most of the time uh if you're trying to catch a high recovery you're going to be going for light down air but i did want to point out the difference uh normal mode the hit the uh knockback sends out in ghost and vampire the knockback sends down uh, her strong up air is actually one of her better uh kill options in my opinion uh it's the same as her one on the ground but the thing is because you're going to be hitting this move closer to the blast zone uh you're gonna be able to get more kills off it than you are just hitting it on the ground it covers a decent amount the hitbox is pretty good uh it comes out decently fast and it can be comboed into with other things and because like i said you're gonna be hitting it close to the blast zone it is uh gonna be killing more than it will while you're on the ground so i do like her strong up air pretty good move for her, in my opinion uh, and then we're coming to the least useful move in her entire kit, Strong Dare. Uh, I'm going to be honest, you should almost never be using this move unless you're going for a haha -ha funny kill off stage. Uh, it's not great as a landing option because it has, you know, so much end lag. Like you might be thinking, oh, like the hitbox covers below her. It's, you know, good landing option. But as you can see... It's just got a lot of end lag on it. It's not great for that. It's not really, you know, it's decently powerful. So if you can land it at higher percents, you'll get a kill. If your opponent's hanging ledge without any invincibility, you can get a kill. Uh, I have seen it be used as kind of a niche, uh, like, ledge trap. Um because the hitbox is decent you know you can trade with some recoveries um but here's why you don't want to use it off stage or even too close to the edge like even if we just that's why uh it doesn't snap ledge and you cannot cancel it i'm spamming jump or not even jump because uh you know we just jump off, I still have one jump, I'm up being, and I'm dying. Yeah, so it's an SD if you use it off stage. Um, can't cancel it. Overall, it's really not a good move. I would avoid using this move as much as possible. The only reason you should go for this move is if you're going for a funny meme kill off stage, uh, or it's niche uses as like a ledge trap slash edge guard kind of, but yeah, <laughs> would not be pulling this one out of the uh, out of the back pocket all that often. Uh, so now we're gonna talk about Lucy's specials, and this is where Lucy gets well special. Uh, her specials are really really good. They're some of the best specials in the entire game, in my opinion. And of course, they all change with her stances. So her normal down special is this teleport. Uh, and you might be saying, okay, it looks like it has a lot of end lag. This doesn't look all that great. Maybe like a micro spacing tool, but you can act out of it. You can do teleport to down tilt, which is a very common way to get in and pressure your opponent. You can do teleport to jab. You can do uh, teleport to grab. Uh, teleport in her base form is a pretty good way to get in. It's also a decent way to get out of disadvantage if your opponent's kind of giving you some problems and juggling you a bunch. Um, it's a decent recovery tool if you're knocked far off stage. You can try to teleport back. Um, just be careful with it though because if you are constantly spamming it at a disadvantage or spamming it as a recovery tool, your opponents are going to figure it out eventually. And they are going to start punishing it with some pretty big moves. Like Patrick Snare is a really good punish for this move. Cat Dog Snare is a really good punish for this move. Um, so don't be predictable. 
but you definitely want to implement this into your game as much as possible uh, to try to get in on your opponent. It's a really, really good neutral tool, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as a vampire, this move actually ends up gaining a hitbox. So I'll show you that. And it's a decently sized hitbox too, and it's very, very powerful, so. Uh, it used to be even stronger uh, before it got nerfed a couple patches ago, but it's one of her best, uh, it's one of her better kill confirms in my opinion. Um, just because of how strong it is. Uh, it is super punishable on block, so if your opponent shields it, um, you're going to be eating a punish. And once that box goes away, you're very vulnerable. It does The animation does last quite a bit, so do keep that in mind. And it's not as good as a recovery tool for getting back to stage because you're not actionable immediately out of it. So uh, just keep all those in mind. Uh, but her down special as a vampire, pretty good kill option. Down special as a ghost actually grants you uh, invulnerability for a little bit. So it's pretty similar to her down special as her base form. But if you notice here, she's completely invulnerable for a little bit. You get some invincibility frames, which is kind of nice because you can get in and, uh, you know, do some other stuff with it. So even if you just want to use it as a mix up with the invulnerability or, you know, you want to use it as a way to get in, uh, it's a, it's... It's, uh, it feels like it's a little bit faster than her base teleport as well. Um, I would say for the most part, you're not going to be using teleport as a ghost too much, but it is something to keep in mind that, yeah, you do have some invulnerability frames. So if you're trying to, you know, recover back to stage as a ghost, uh, which you will need this teleport to get back to stage as a ghost, and I'll show you why in a second, um, you'll have a little bit of invincibility, which is nice. Uh, so her... You know, uh, what's it called? Yes, her down special changes depending on her form. So we'll kill this computer Lucy. We'll get this Lucy backstage because we're going to be talking about her neutral special now, which is how you get your stances in the first place. This move comes out pretty fast. The hitbox is pretty good, covers her entire body, as you can see. So your opponents are going to have a hard time contesting this. And this is how you're going to get your stances. So if you hit an opponent, or a uh, projectile in normal mode, you go to vampire mode. If you hit them again with the neutral special, you go to ghost. And once you have a stance, you're just gonna be cycling between vampire and ghost the entire time. Once you get a stance, you're just gonna be cycling uh, between the two. See ghost, vampire, ghost, vampire. So this uh, actually is pretty good to use in tandem with some of her other moves. You know, you can do something like a light dash bite combo. Uh, you can use this as a way to kind of put pressure on your opponent in neutral because the hitbox is pretty decent. It comes out pretty fast. Um, so it's not just for changing stances. It can be used uh, in tandem with like the rest of her kit. As you can see. So you might have noticed me spinning and getting bats and stuff like that. Uh, that's how you get back to normal stance. So if you are in a stance and you want to go back to normal mode, you just hold neutral B. Uh, and what happens depends on your mode. So... Uh, come on, Lucy. Work with me here. If I hold neutral B, as a vampire, a little bit of a hitbox appears around me, and the bats all come out, and these are all projectiles. So they can be grabbed, they can be reflected, just like any other projectile in the game, so do keep that in mind, of course. But, uh, yes, that's what happens when you're a vampire, and when you're a ghost, and you want to get rid of your form, if you hold neutral B, of course she's not going to do it. Come on, Lucy. Don't be annoying. Don't forget me. See, she's going to do her spin. A big hitbox appears around her, and you can't see it because the hitboxes are on. But she's completely uh, invisible now. So when you change stances uh, from ghost, 
Yes, you become invincible, or not invincible, invisible. Uh, the hitbox on it is decently, like, disjointed. Uh, Don't forget me. It's not like the biggest Don't forget me. thing in the world, but Perfect. yeah, it's uh, very interesting. Uh, and one of the uses for, uh, you know, getting rid of stance, obviously, is if you just want to get back to normal mode. But also, it can be used kind of as a mix-up option. So if your opponent's hitting you off stage, uh, and you need to recover, you can hold B, and you can drift a little bit, as you can see. Uh, you kind of can get a little bit of a nice drift into, like, a ledge grab or something like that. Um, you know, if your opponent's juggling you and you just want to get away for a bit, yeah, you can do a little bit of a drift with it uh, when you get rid of your stance, which is definitely nice to know. Uh, so her up special is pretty long and you can kind of you know in normal mode you can control where it goes a little bit left and right uh but do notice that it has no hitbox so you are very very vulnerable during uh, her normal recovery and you're very susceptible to things like somebody just simply holding ledge because you have no hitbox you have no way of getting them off ledge so if they just want to hold ledge on you yeah, you're kind of in a little bit of a rough spot with that one, so. Uh, and yes, her special, her up special does change with her stance. So in vampire mode, you gain a hitbox, but you can't control which direction it goes beyond the original input. So if I'm holding up and to the left, you go up to the left. If I hold up and to the right, you go to the right. So <laughs> it, you're going to do this a lot on accident. And you're also going to do this a lot on some stages where you just get bonked. So recovering in Vampire, again, just keep in mind you can't control which direction it goes beyond the original input. You will always go at that kind of, you know, whatever angle this is. Um, I'm not going to bust out the protractor, but you will always go in that angle. Uh, and you can't control where you go once the input is made, so keep that in mind uh ghost your up special is very short but you have a hitbox on your way down you don't have a hitbox on the way up you have a hitbox on the way down um it's not great i'm gonna be honest you really should almost never be trying to recover in ghost mode um if you're hit off stage in either one of your stances most of the time your best option is going to be getting rid of your stance and then recovering in normal mode because her recovery in her other modes isn't great. I'm gonna be honest. So, yes, those are uh, those are her specials, and uh, we'll talk about like her get up attack from ledge. It's it's okay. It's not. <laughs> her get up attack from ledge sucks. I'm I'm just gonna be honest. It's terrible. You should almost never be using her get-up attack from ledge. It's not really the best. Uh, her wake-up attack, actually, is pretty decent, though. Like, you have a lot of... Uh, you have a decently sized hitbox around Lucy when she does her get-up attack... Or her wake-up attack. It's it's a pretty big hitbox. So, her wake-up attack can be used to snipe people who aren't really uh, paying attention. Um, but, yeah. I would almost never recommend using... I mean... Like, look at this. Like, wh what, what, what is that? What is that? Come. So now that we've gone over her different moves and and the differences between the different stances, um, we can talk about some of uh, the way that she plays. So her bread and butter kind of combos are going to be very, very free flowing. There's not really one specific set way to build percent as Lucy Loud. Uh, because you're just going to be stringing along moves and reacting to your opponent. Um, you know, you can do like a light dash down tilt, uh, you know, light dash jab bite, you know, light dash bite ja uh, jab if they di in, um, light dash jab d tilt. Uh, you know, you can light dash is like. You know, what happens out of a light dash is, uh, 
it's very free flowing. You're going to be reacting to what your opponent is doing and how their DI is a lot. Uh, for the most part, when it comes to your strings out of light dash. You know, you can do something like that. Um, light dash, jab, down tilt, up tilt, uh, kind of combo to set them up for like, you know, up air juggles, um, something like that out of a light dash. Um, you can do a light dash into up tilt, which is going to set up for up air juggles. Uh, which is actually one of her best ways to build percent in general, is her up air juggles. Specifically when you get into ghost mode, because you can just chase your opponent up literally like all the way to the sky. Because of the way that the increased jump height works. You definitely want to get good with your, your up air juggles uh, as Lucy Loud. That's going to be a really, really good way to build a quick, quick percent. Uh, yeah. Perfect. There's up air juggles. Uh, you can also do uh, up tilt into up air, up throw bite. Uh, this is going to be a DI mix up. You can do. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Down tilt bite if you want to get a stance. Uh, bite is pretty useful to mix into like a bunch of different things. Um, just because of the way that the hitbox works, you're going to want to mix that up. Um, you're just going to want to mix it in. But yeah, as far as like bread and butter percent combos, I mean, it's it's going to be kind of depending on what's, re you know, you reacting to the way your opponent is DIing and, and how they're reacting to you. Um, you know, one of her best ways to get in in neutral is down, uh, down special down tilt, in my opinion. Uh, or you can do down special in the air into down air. If I can space this. Because you're just going to be immediately throwing out a hitbox out of your down special. Uh, and kind of getting in that way. So, um, you know, in neutral, you're going to want to make use of your teleport if you're in normal mode as much as possible. Uh, you're also going to want to be using a lot of dash dancing a lot of what lucy does in neutral is looking for that opening you're going to want to dash dance around wave dash around throw out some moves um you're really good you're looking for your opponent to give you an opening uh because she doesn't have any projectiles and she doesn't really have any like super big dish joints so as far as like getting in in neutral uh those are the, what you're going to want to do and then once you're in as far as your bread and butter percent is goes you know you're kind of just going off of what your opponent is doing. Um, one of the most free-flowing and creative characters in the game in terms of uh, building percent. Uh, as far as kill options are concerned, once you've built up the percent as Lucy Loud, um, there's a couple different kill options you can go for. One of the best and most effective kill option she has is like i said her light dare you know if you're able to knock your opponent off uh the stage you can go for like you know if your opponent was actually dying and not just dying off the side um you can go for something like a light dash into uh light dash into down airs at ledge Um, in, in general, like, as far as, like, her kills are concerned, light down air is going to be your best way to do it. Obviously, I'm not very good at it. Um, but yeah, her double dare, uh, is going to be a really, really good kill option. You, you can usually, if your opponent, if you read your opponent correctly, um, I mean, it could do, like, a light down air, or light dash into down airs. Um, you can also do, which is one that I do a lot, I get a lot of, uh, mileage off of you can do down tilt to aerial up strong uh, this is actually specifically really good uh, as ghost lucy as the ai just falls off the face of the planet um, because you can chase your opponents up so high uh, as ghost lucy down tilt to strong up air is a really really good kill confirm for her in my opinion i get a lot of my kills like this um 
do keep in mind it's going to be harder to do in vampire mode because of the decreased jump height. You can still do it, uh, but it's going to rely more on a catch than just a confirm as it is with the ghost mode. Um, but yeah, down tilt to strong up air. Uh, one of her better kill confirms in my opinion. Uh, and another kill confirm that you're going to want to get good at is jump down throw down special. So this is also DI dependent. If your opponent DI's away, um, then you might miss it. If your opponent uh, DI's down, they might get a tech. Um, they might get a tech away and you might miss it. But uh, also platforms can mess with this confirm sometimes. As you can see, uh, the CPU DI'd that properly. So sometimes you might need to, what I did there is, uh, if I noticed that they were DI'ing it properly, you run forward a little bit, you don't immediately down special out of it, um, because uh, you might miss it sometimes if you do. So if you notice that your opponent is DI'ing it properly, uh, you jump down throw, you can run forward a couple steps and then down special. This is a really, really powerful kill confirm, uh, as you can see. Um, but it does rely on getting a grab, which can be kind of difficult for Lucy sometimes because, again, you don't really have any neutral tools uh, that specifically are designed to like keep your opponent in shield. Like, you don't have, like, Garfield's Pie, for example, to run in and get a grab off of. Uh, but if you do get a grab and you aren't in the right stance, uh, you can definitely, definitely do some, do some damage uh, with this move. That is uh, definitely for sure. Um, otherwise, as far as kill confirms are concerned, again, it's going to be a lot of free flowing. Like I said, I do think uh, Fastfall Snare is pretty good for her as a catch. It's not really a confirm, just more of a kill option. Um, it, it's kind of hard, and this is also part of why I did a, a mini guide for Lucy. It's kind of hard because a lot of the ways you're going to be killing is just reacting to your opponents and killing them off of uh, catching their recoveries with down tilts or light down airs. And that's one of the things that you're going to want to get really good at. You are definitely want to get good at... Uh, what's it called? You definitely want to get good at... Uh, edge guarding with her down tilt. You're gonna want to get good at catching recoveries out with her down tilt because that's gonna be one of the main ways you're gonna be killing people uh, as far as edge guarding is concerned, or I should say ledge trapping either one. Um, yeah, uh, I'll put up a clip here. You can see where you can just keep sniping people's recoveries until they die. Uh, definitely want to get good at timing this. It can be kind of difficult because some recoveries, specifically like Spongebob's who have a hitbox above them, Leonardo's can be a little bit difficult. Um, recoveries that have a hitbox above them can be tricky, but sometimes you can at least trade with them in order to uh, get the kill. Uh, otherwise, as far as edge guarding is concerned, call out your opponent. You definitely always want to be pressuring their recoveries and always threaten uh, threaten to light down air because you're going to want to make people uncomfortable because they know how powerful this move is. So if they're recovering high because you keep down tilting them, threaten the uh, threaten the axe kick. A lot of times if they're recovering high, you can knock them down below the stage with the axe kick, force them to do a up B underneath the stage, and then you just go for the down tilts. Um, so always be threatening uh, with Lucy Loud. Definitely very important. Uh, to keep people afraid of you because they know how powerful your ledge trapping and edge carding can be. So, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? We've talked about some of her bread and butters. We've talked about some of her kill confirms. Um, edge guarding with her is pretty simple. Just the, uh, <laughs> the axe kick of doom, double dare. Again, if you're going for the double dare, just don't forget to jump and do the second dare before you up B. Otherwise, you'll just Whoa. die off the bottom. So keep that in mind. Um, as far as Lucy Loud's disadvantage state, it's it's okay. You can sometimes get at a disadvantage with Axe Kick in the air because it is so big. Um, and the hitbox is decently disjointed. 
you can usually get out of it a little bit uh, with that. You can also teleport out of disadvantage. If they give you a little bit of space, you can teleport out. Uh, but again, just keep in mind that it is predictable and you can get caught with it. Um, yeah, you can get caught out if your opponent notices your patterns. Like if you're always trying to teleport high back to stage, they're going to start throwing moves out in that vicinity and catching you out. Um, talked about her recovery. Um, I will show you one thing you can do on Jellyfish Fields that is good to know. But it is uh, another one of these things that's exploitable about Lucy if your opponent knows that you're going for it. Sigh. So on Jellyfish Field specifically, uh, with Lucy you can do, you can hang out underneath the stage while your uppie is happening. And then at the last second, because if you notice Lucy, when she, she lets go of her bat, she kind of flies upward a little bit. You can hang out underneath the stage and at the last second you can press left and snap ledge. Now again, this isn't going to work if your opponent knows that that's what you're going for because you don't have a hitbox <laughs> on your way up. So uh, if your opponent is smart and they just grab ledge, uh, you're going to get killed. <laughs> so uh, our disadvantage state can be okay. Don't get predictable. Don't always try to spam teleport out of disadvantage at, at a specific height. Um, like her recovery, you're definitely going to want to mix it up. The big thing with her recovery is you've got to practice your ledge snap. Like, that was not a good ledge snap. I probably would have gotten punished for that. Because you don't have a hitbox on your way up, you're going to want to just go onto the competitive stages and just know at what heights can you up B back to stage uh, and snap. You can also try to mix up your opponent by going to the complete opposite side of the stage. You know, if they knock you off to the left, you can go recover all the way to the right because we have such a long recovery. Uh, but again, we are very, very exploitable during said recovery. So, um, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much Lucy in a nutshell. I feel like I said <laughs> a decent amount of information here. But it might feel like to you that I didn't give you like specifics of like specific combo routes and stuff, but it, it, it can be difficult to do so considering how free flowing she is. You know, you're just going off your opponent's reads. Now that's another thing you can do by the way. Uh, light dash into down tilt is uh, pretty good. Light dash down tilt is pretty fun. <laughs> um, so it might seem like there's no specific combo routes or kill confirm routes for her, but honestly, I think that's a good thing. I like how free flowing of a character she is and you can do so many cool and unique things with her. So I would say definitely give Lucy a shot if you're interested in her at all and uh, you're curious as to how she, uh, she operates. So uh, yeah, I hope this was at least somewhat helpful to some folks out there. And uh, if you're curious at all about Lucy, give her a shot. She's uh, she's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't really know if I'll be doing any more character guides at any point, considering that these are really the main characters that I do play. But if I pick up any more characters, I'll be sure to, uh, to give you guys a little bit of insight into how to play them, because I find these guides to be a lot of fun. So if you guys have any questions, uh, uh, please leave them down in the comment section. I'll answer any questions I can. I'll also leave links to the important things like uh, the frame data sheet and the grinders discord as well down in the description below. So get out there and uh, start scaring your opponents.